Hiya and welcome to Tykes TV. It's Neil and today I've got a Luton Town fan Ian Robertson from We Are Luton Town. Uh, great to have you on board, Ian. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thanks for having us. Um, obviously, we're going to be talking about his midweek uh, game, what's going to be happening. Um, like you come to our place and you, you won one note back in August, I think, so it's a bit, you know, a while ago like now. Uh so, do you fancy your chances tomorrow against a pretty poor struggling Barnsley side, uh, Ian? Uh, it's one of them, isn't it? I think your form's got to change at some point. You know, Ashbag has got to, got to win his, his first league game and uh, it would just be Luton Town for it to be against us. So, you could never say you fancy your chances. We're in, Obviously, we're in good form and, and you're not in good form. So, you know, a betting man would say that they'd fancy us, but... We haven't beat you at our place since 1993, believe it or not. Mm. So it's yeah. been a while. Um, I know there's been a few draws and stuff in there, but it's always a good game. We we had a bit of a battle, you know, in the league one days and then down near the relegation zone. So um, quietly confident, you know, we're, we're in really good form. We know it can't continue in the same vein. It, it has been. It's just not going to happen, I think. You know, we, we're going to have a, a loss or two in there or few draws and stuff I think you know if we continue on on the form right they're on at the moment then it's more automatic than in playoffs so I don't think that's mm. possible but I think we could we'll continue some good form but I expect a few little um indifferent results in there in the mix as well so it's a difficult one um yeah I watched your game against uh who were you playing the other day I forgot now oh uh, Uddersfield uh no sorry the one before that in the league Oh, it, uh, yeah, you know, there's been that many what's been coming up. I forgot who you played now. Anyway, either way, chaos. yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great game of football, but I think both teams just kind of had an off day. You know, it didn't, I'm sure both teams can play better on the day, but it wasn't fantastic. And, uh, you know, it made me quietly confident, but anything can happen, you know. You know, Barnsley will turn it around, turn around some wins at some point, I think. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's not tomorrow. I don't want to see you guys <laughs> go down because you're, you, you know, you're a good club like ourselves. And, uh, but hopefully, for, from our perspective, hopefully it can be another win. It'll push us, barring, depending on what score it is, it might put us in the playoffs if it's more than three on goal difference. Uh, and we've got a game in hand of a couple. Um, so that would be great. But, um, yeah, it'd be great if we could get a win. Do you think under Nathan uh, this season is is surprised a lot of Luton Town fans because <clears throat> from a Barnes perspective, looking in, it's like it seems to be really got them organised and you know playing as a as a team rather than individuals. You know what I mean? But we all seem to be like wanting to work for one another. Uh, that's from my looking out. Yeah, I mean, we've always always kind of had that hard work and work ethic and working as a team. I don't think that part has surprised me, but we kind of went through a mini transition in terms of the intake of players we had in the summer. Mm. Um, obviously, we, we haven't, apart from a loan keeper, we didn't get anyone in January. Um, so the way that they've gelled has kind of surprised me. I didn't expect it to be as quick as it was. You know, normally if you see a club go through the changes that we had, you know, Collins went um, as well, which has been our leading scorer over the last few years. We, we've got a relatively what what you would class as an inexperienced striker in Elijah Adebayo uh, from Warsaw last January, um, you know, and he's come on leaps and bounds. And I think they kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, but we went for a transition and, you know, a, a lot of the players that we've got playing week in, and week out, you know, weren't here last year. So I think from that perspective, the way that they've gelled and the way that they've picked up that form has been surprising, but not the hard work and effort. I think Nathan's very demanding. You, mm. you, you can probably, if you've ever watched any of our games, you can hear him on the sidelines screaming at him to, yeah. you know, do that little bit more. And uh, I don't think that, that part of it's surprising. Um, I think that the upturn in form over the last six six weeks um, and the uh, schedule that we've had, um, the, the the form that we've actually ground out has been been good because uh, you know we've used the squad um, significantly used the squad, so we've rested players and they've all stepped up, so that's been great. Yeah, just going back to what you said about Nathan, like de rather demanding him back. You look at Poya, and since he's come in, is uh, you know ten league games in, no wins, 
his only win was against Barrow, 10 men and back after extra time. And just what you're on about with uh, games, we've, had, we've lost against Birmingham, Notts Forest, Bournemouth for more recently against Cardiff. Uh, and then, obviously, his FA Cup game was on uh, Huddersfield. But there's a fair few bounds of fans now what it's like saying that what what point in changing manager because he, he hasn't really brought out to it. He's not he's not implementing his own style. And uh someone did put on one at forums, uh but chucking it down with rain and his manager stood there in a, a raincoat, it just like looked look like an article schoolboy at playground stood there. Not, you know, it was like what with the passion, with the with the you know, urgency kind of thing. Uh so there's like a bit of discontent growing with that. Uh, do you think do you think he's he, he's having the chance to be able to do that? Because uh, from the outside looking in, it, it it has a little bit of a sniff of uh, is the direction that the playing style and everything else is kind of the formats given to that said manager. Yeah. Um, and I know uh, obviously Ishmael had a good run at it, um, but it's like you said, it just seemed like shop and Ashbergis style. Hasn't changed. Yeah. Nothing's really changed. He hasn't had that. Under Ishmael, we it were very direct, very up in your face, and very high tempo. Uh, when obviously he went to West Brom, we brought in Marcus Shop, and the style that wants to play them were a more passing kind of play, which is good if you've got the place to do it with. If you haven't got a place to do it with, you can't suddenly say, Do you know what we're going to this passing style? They didn't really uh, back shopping uh, January transfer window in August. We lost his captain, you know, DK went back to America. So it, it was pretty poor recruitment, no CEO. He had two wins, you know, he had a better form, you know, at minute than compared to Poya or Spargy. Shot went, Poya came in. Now, when Poya came in, he was led to believe he, he preferred playing for at back. Well, we've recruited for the last 18 months, two years as a, a free at back. So he was coming in, you know, square pegs, round holes, and he was still doing it against Huddersfield. We were playing midfielders in defence, defence in midfielders, left wing back up in front. And we don't even know what, I mean, it's for me as a fan, I don't even know what system we're going to play. So what that means for a, a player, I don't even know we're going to play on part. Um, again, I, I get where you're coming from and there's like rumours going about that there's, it's, there's influences from above saying these are the players you've got, this is the system you're playing. And the manager or the coach, as we call them now, is coming in and literally just coaching and trying to make fit. Uh and I think that I think that highlighted a lot in the recruitment side in January. We we wanted we're screaming out for a, a defense a, well, a ball winning midfielder, some leader, and we got two wingers and it was Right, what we're gearing up for here, and they came in on loan. No disrespect to players, they're, they're probably great players. But when you went in the midfielder, and everybody's saying, everybody, every man and the dog saying, you know, as a fan, we needed midfielder in beer to grab it, and we get two, you know, loan players. So I think that said a lot, and it, it, the discontent even got a bit more thinking, well, are we really bothered about us? Are we really giving us a bit of a fighting chance to stop up? I mean, to be fair to them, two loan players that came in, uh, I forget the names now, but I did watch them against Cardiff. Um, oh, looked, uh, especially yeah. the winger. The winger looked decent, to be fair. Uh, and the striker, you know, he, he, he was good at holding it up at top. Yeah, um, Bassi and Queen. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they, they both looked half decent. I know uh, Queen hasn't really had had the rubber the green as I know he's been mm. on like, a couple of loans and stuff and mm. hasn't done well at Watford and stuff. But. Um, but I know where they're surprised that either of them haven't really played any football, have they? No. To speak uh, of. No, I mean... So I was surprised. I think you only played about four or five games on loan to Fulham. Watford recall him back and we got him. And to be fair, he he, were, he could tell he was a bit, a bit of a different class. He was spraying ball, he was dropping his shoulder, selling my dummy and we were going off on one. And he were like, well, do you know what? We might have got something here. You know, but... If you think it long term, is it just going to be a temporary one and then he goes back? And But for someone like that, he, you can tell that people want to play football. When they come in, they're, they're up for it and want to play football. And, yeah. you know, we had Matty Wolf, uh, Aidan Marsh, two young kids from Academy, what's coming through. 
so much. So Thank you. Give the chance. That was great to see him uh, get his debut. You could tell that how much it meant to him at the end of that game. Oh, um, yeah. And that's great to see. And, and that's, you know, from from a uh, from a Barnsley fan's point of view, you want to see that happening. Yeah. Um, again, are you kind of thinking is is he being introduced because he's another young one that they can maybe make a bit of money off? Hmm. Um, but yeah, going back to that that, that, that winger, he. Um, the amount of diagonal balls he played over to, I think it was Callum Styles. I think yeah. he was bringing it down at the other end. You know, that was a yeah, it was good. It was good football. I like Callum Styles as well, to be honest. I think you know, he's a fantastic player. Um, I think with player. Styles this season, he's been played out at left. Then we've tried moving him into centre midfield to try and link up midfield and uh, attack. So it's been a bit different for him this season. And again, I, I get what we're trying to do. But when we're in this position, I think we're trying too many different things to try and find that elusive win. You know what I mean? Just if a player's comfortable in that position, just stick to the basics and just, you know, it will come. But when you're constantly moving and, well, not just even formation, but we're constantly moving players in and out of the side all the time, it's like it's unrest, it's unsettled. You need that consistency. Once it comes, then, you know, build on it. But it's still to come. Um, and like I said, we've got a, a, a trip for Luton. That's gonna be that's gonna for me. That's gonna be in our place because it's always a it's it's a tight ground. What I like, I like them grounds where fans are close to pitch, and you know it's I, I like it. It's, a, it's an atmosphere, and mm. I think if if you can start well, it can work for you. But if you if you start bad, it can also work against you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's that's been a difficult one because obviously it's quite a ferocious crowd, especially on a on an evening under mm. the lights. I think. You know, normally if a, a team can get on top of us, it just dampen the crowd a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes in the past that's that's not gone in our favour. Uh, I think we've kind of learned from that. I suppose the team's learned from that to, to make a good start. So I'd probably expect a, a, a good start from us tomorrow. Mm. Um, we rested. I think we made eight changes at the weekend, but we've made changes the last couple of weeks. You know, here and there, all over the place because yeah. the the schedule that we've had. Um, we just had two three game weeks back to back so six games and, and then we've got loads more coming up so uh, including another FA Cup so the schedule is going to hit us at some point mm -hmm. <laughs> they're gonna, I mean you know they're, they're quite athletic and they've got a good stamina but he's using the squad well so hopefully we don't it's not too much of a hit but um, yeah it should be a good game I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to it it's always it's always quite a and you always travel quite well um, mm -hmm. I don't know how many you'll bring down um Tomorrow, but uh, should be a good game. Do you think underneath, underneath, and I was playing his uh, style? Did do, do you think he'll just keep to that and not really alter it? Is it like we're coming down, he'll not really alter it. He'll just stick to what he knows and uh, take his air game to us. Or do you think he'll alter it in the way he's going to play against us? Um, I don't know if we'll again. Because we've really fogged Elijah Adebayo, really. Mm. And obviously, we, we dropped him at the weekend. He's been off for the last couple of games. Um, I don't know if he'll rest him again or not, but we've got Jerome and Cornick um, up top, which, are, you know, we've got plenty of games in them, so they can cover if not. You know, in regards to tactics and stuff, Nathan's known for you know, playing two or three in a game. I mm. think he'll, he'll probably will go out for the win and we'll be... We will play with five at the back. We normally do at home with two wing backs um, and three um, centre backs. So I think we'll we'll probably go with that um, and probably be quite attacking minded. Um, but you know we're not going to take anything for granted. We'll go in there, not taking anybody for granted. We'll go in there, you know, pitching some hard work. And if we need to adapt it in the game, I think he will. You know, the good thing we, we've got with their two wing backs and the midfield that we've got is we can change tactics up if we need to. Mm. He's quite, he's quite, you know, adapting doing that quickly if he needs to. You know, twenty minutes into the game, if you're on top or or what. So yeah, all bit standout players for you. All, all should balance be keeping an eye out for. All, always been, you know, on form. Well, if Elijah's playing. Mm. He's, he's really difficult. I don't know if you've watched him this year. He's yeah, you know, he's great at holding the ball up. He's fast, same as Cornick. Um, he's fast as well. So attacking counter is always good. Um, I think our standout player this this year has been Cal Naismith, one of our centre backs. He's yeah. just been absolutely solid. Um, he's good at carrying the ball forwards. He's solid at the back. Um, 
No, that's one thing I've noticed about him, actually. When, when, when I've seen highlights or if I've seen full game, he does look pretty comfortable. He does like fetching it out, doesn't he? He does like... He, he, he just doesn't want yeah. to get shot. He likes coming out with it, doesn't he? But, yeah, well, he's a, he's a utility player, so he's played up front. He's played in midfield. I mean, right. the only place he hasn't played is in goal. So, um, <laughs> you can yeah. see that. I mean, he scored a last-minute winner against uh, Bournemouth the other week. Mm. Um and you know, he, he sold him a dummy, turned it on the inside, then yeah, look comfortable. So you can, yeah, 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 it looks comfortable at top as well. So he's really comfortable on the ball, but um, but yeah, I think most Luton fans would comfortably say, even though Elijah's our probably our, our poster boy, if you like, and yeah. the one that's got the most goals, but most people would agree that Cal Naismith has been, you know, absolutely solid for us this season. I think been the difference. he was on a free as well last, last January, he got him on a free for so it was crazy, Not really. Bad that, yeah. I think for Barnsley uh, way, um, I think if Morris starts, I think he could be a danger because we started first game of the season against Coventry and picked up an injury. Then he'd been out with fitness issues and COVID related things and that. But since he's come back, I know he scored a couple of games, uh, goals, goals against him, Barrow in FA Cup. But then again, he went out with little niggly, niggly injuries. So we're coming back. Um, I think Carlton Morris, Queener, if he starts, which I hope he does start because what I saw against Cardiff, I think there's. We need some a player like that. Bassey is I don't know. He, he started at uh, Uddersfield, but then he were on bench against Cardiff. So whether he's just gained up to match speed, because he hadn't played a lot of games as well back in France. Do you Cal think he's maybe resting him at FA yeah. Cup and maybe you yeah. Just get a bit of fitness. Callum Styles, again, it needs to be if he's every one of them good games, is on it. But if it's slightly off, it, it just goes missing. Um, weren't you playing right back for you last season or left, right wing you were, back? Yeah, you were, play, you were playing left wing back. We had Cal yeah, Styles on left wing and then uh, Britain on, on right. And again, Britain's been out for the last couple of games. Don't know if it's COVID related or whether it's just fitness. So I think if them two could come back, you know, and get try and get back to something different and get back to basics. But having said that, we don't know if he'll be starting with a different formation. And, just, you know, for me, I'd like to see Queen start. I'd like to see Styles and Britain both start. But then again, if he starts in that formation, it doesn't necessarily mean he's going to play Styles in his, in his preferred left wing back. He's probably playing in midfield somewhere. But I think for Brad Collins, I know he were, he were at fault against goal against Bournemouth when he come rushing out and made a bit of a gnash in it. Uh, but oh, yeah, again, as your, it, as your supporters said, he's kind of your standout player this year, Collins. Has he kept you in a lot of? He, he has. To be fair, he has, and I think he says a lot when he said that your goalkeeper's like kept, you know, been man at match and has been kept in it for quite a few. Went back just to show how much pressure the, you know, his defence has been under at times and chopping and changing about. Uh, I mean, he prefers to play that sweeper keeper role. Uh, what's always, right. you know, what uh, Balishmel introduced, which is fine. But still, again, when us as fans have been watching it, it's like squeaky bun time. It's like, oh, I hope it just gets here in time. Or especially when in conditions when we're chucking it down with rain, slides on pitch and loses it completely. And it's like, I don't believe it. It's like, you know, Eddie Nans kind of thing. And But then he'll come back and somehow either fluff it up or he'll pull off a save. But it's it's always something different. Uh, it could be interesting but, depending on who we play because we, we, similar to you last year, we play quite a high press, you know, mm. like a seven second press, if you like, where they're, they're straight on them straight away and then covering um, your centre backs if you're playing it out from the back. So that's half our, our job done if we can then win the second ball that is pumped up. Um, but I don't know if Elijah's playing, he'll be all over that. He loves the sweeper keeper, to be honest. So, well, the thing is, the frustrating thing is, I mean, we had asked him uh, Pontefract Road and, um, and it's more or less behind goal. And the amount of times we're trying to play tight from back, but Cardiff were like on it. And I'm thinking, Jordan, you, uh, you, Gilly, well, I'm like, just clear the ball. You're just inviting pressure on. And the amount of times we're trying to play tight and it coming straight back to us. I'm thinking, we're not, we're not giving his own defence a, a chance here. And everybody, everybody's shouting, just pass it out. But the thing was, is that you were having your queen and out on wing, and you were, you were floating. You weren't just stuck on one wing. You were like floating across from over to other, and you were creating space. And I'm thinking, is there's nobody marking him up here? He's in yard of space. Just pass it, but just play it out from back. And I'm, it, it was so frustrating to see. I'm thinking you could hit it up there and then play up in their half, you know. But it won't. It was play out from back, and it like. Ugh. 
we have moments where we play out from the back as well, to be honest, because we like to, you know, try and bring the team out, uh, the opposition out a little bit. So mm. we can maybe make a, a long ball up to Adebayo. So, you know, I wouldn't say we're guilty of that. We, we, we use it a fair bit just to try and open play up a little bit. And we're relatively com- competent on it. You know, mm. Sonny Bradley and I think I've seen that looking at a stat uh, yesterday, uh, Sonny Bradley and uh, Naismith are two of the highest rated centre-backs in the league. Uh, in terms of stats, so right. yeah. um, and that's on the ball and passing and everything taken into account. So that shows, you know, we utilise them a lot. I think our um, our right sided centre back, we've we've had a few in. So we've either had Lockie or Burke, or they interchanged them really. But yeah. Sonny Bradley, our captain, has been out for the last I think three or four games now. Um, so he's been, you know, getting some good rest, but. So it'll be interesting to see what team we play because you know if you if you go back after this and have a look at our last three squads for the last three games, it's just mixed yeah. up completely. So all different. We've really had to use the squad because you know we've been absolutely hammered by games. Mm. Um, going back to your early question, I think that's the biggest thing that surprised me is how well we've done. Having done that, it just shows you how our, our strength and depth is at the moment. You're still in touching distances as well, aren't you? Really at playoffs, you know, you're not a million well, miles away from it, so. It's funny, again, I was looking at stats. I mean, if we win tomorrow, um, let's say, for instance, we win by three goals, uh, we'll go into into the playoffs because mm. uh, no one behind us can catch us that's playing tomorrow. Um, and, we'll, we'll, and we'll still have a game in hand of one or two in the playoffs. But the problem being is that all the teams that are above us in the position we're in now are, are winning and winning regularly as well. Yeah. So it's hard to try and t- to nudge in. So even if we were to get in tomorrow... Um, you know, the ones on, on Wednesday that are playing would, would then get in there. So mm. it's going to be a difficult job, even if we do keep up a bit of form, because, you know, if, you know who the only one that's not in form, they're really ab- above us at West Brom at the minute. Yeah. And obviously yeah. you would expect their form to maybe change. But, you know, you've got Notts Forest, Middlesbrough, Huddersfield, us all, all kind of winning or drawing. Nice, yeah. so. All knocking on the door, just waiting for that last spot in it, I suppose, just to you know clutch on well, it. I mean, you kind of got your noses in front at the start, didn't you? And then mm. you kind of stayed there, and kept kept winning. Um, don't know whether it might be a case of we didn't quite hit far early enough, you know, mm. well in touching mm. distance. But you know, it be all end. It doesn't matter if we don't, because you know, if we get eight for nine, we're still in increase on twelve last year, and I'll be happy with that. You know? Yeah, true. From where we've come from to be in that position again, it just shows consistency and continuously improving. So, you know, we can't argue with that. New stadium's not due for another three or four years, so we mm. can't do much until we're out of Kenilworth Road. So, just keep going and going and going and slowly progressing and hoping to get there, isn't it? So. Yeah, yeah. So, what, uh, obviously, you, you went, I don't know if you were like saying it, you know, three, three nil tomorrow, so you could get in playoffs, but. Score prediction. Uh, what do you think score will be tomorrow, then, Ian? Yeah, I, I think I think actually, I mean, I know I've said that, but mm. I think um, I think it'll be a, a tough game. You know, yeah. um, I know you're on a ba- bad run, but like I said earlier, it's got to change at some point, and mm. it's just Luton that it'll change at. <laughs> um, my heart goes three-one Luton, mm. um, and my head goes. Two one, I think Leon. I think they might just scrape it, but you know, I, I think you're more than capable of turning this over if it turns. If. Know, anyone can turn anyone over in this league. It's true. Yeah, it's a given. So unpredictable. Every game's hard. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we could go against Bournemouth, have a really easy, easyish game or whatever, um, and then come and have a really hard game against someone else. You just can't tell. You just got to be on it all the time. Very you, true. You, you've no room for slacking or com- complacency. No, very true. Uh, my arts, obviously, I'm going to say a win, and I'm not, not going to. But my art is saying two one Barnsley. But again, it, I think under lights, and I think if you all get the first goal, I think you know crowd will be all over it, kind of thing. So my art saying two one, my head saying two one Luton. Two one. I, I think I think there will be goals in it. I think there will be goals in it. Um, and I think a crucial part will be if you score the first goal. It, 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 when we concede, we never seem to like be able to build on it. I mean, I keep going back to Barrow. Yeah, we're two and up against Barrow, but there we're down to ten men, and after ninety minutes, we're four apiece. So it, you know, but I'm hoping that you know Morris can start. 
and he's not on bench and Queen starts. I think if them two start, we've got a bit of a better chance. I think if Morris is on bench and is playing like Izaka and Devante Cole, no respect to them, I think you've got to start with your, your, your most prominent, strongest on form players. Um, and whether that'll happen tomorrow, I don't know. But me aren't saying 2 1 Barnsley, but me had to say 2 1 Luton because I think Luton under Nathan, I, I, I like Nathan, I think he's a really, really good, strong man manager. Um, and he's like proper passionate. So, yeah, yeah that, that's what I'm going for anyway. That's what I'm going for anyway. It's funny you said about Luton scoring first. I think there was a stat I saw the other day. It's not since Accrington in League Two that we've lost a game when we've scored first. That was the last time. There you go. Eight years ago now. Yeah. Ages there ago. So, hopefully, uh, you know, we're normally pretty good on top of it, but it shows we don't get complacent, but... Mm. Anything can happen. It's a championship, and after tomorrow, you know, I, I do hope you stay up. There's there's a lot more deserving clubs and fan bases that deserve to go down in this league than Barnsley. So yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate that. Hopefully, everything else gets sorted out. I know, you know, I, I heard the uh, your uh, as chief exec saying the other day. You know, oh yeah, no one wants to buy us. They can come and buy us. This that, uh, and the other. The discontent, yeah. Still goes on. Yeah. Do you know yeah. the, the one thing, and, and that's why I like Barnsley, is I, I watch you guys and I watch um, Red all over um, every now and then. And just you know, you've been losing most weeks, and just mm. the positivity and the laughs and the smiles and stuff. You just don't get that at many clubs, and I think that's great to see. You know, it's not all about football; it is about community, and it mm. just shows. You know, just the loyal fan base that you've got. You know, obviously you're going to get negative people. You get them at every every club, don't you? But yeah, just, it's it's starkly different to any other club I've seen now. Yes, and that's why I like bands. That's great to see you. Yeah. Really. Appreciate that, Ian. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I hope we do stop up um, in Championship. And I don't mean disrespectful, but I hope we don't play. I hope we manage to get into promised land at Premier League because you're knocking distance. But um, you know, if we do meet up again in uh, Championship or any other games are out, then We'll have another catch up and another chat about as uh, as fortune and see where we're going. So I'm sure we that. will next next season. We'll both be in the same division. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, but we will be anyway. I mean, I don't know who <laughs> you guys are, but um, um, yeah, I don't think we'll be going up this year. It's slim, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely catch each other again. Appreciate it, Ian. So I want to thank everybody for watching Tykes TV. Uh, thank you to uh, Ian on We Are Luton Town. Appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave your likes and comments below. Keep them respectful. Uh, one thing to say, you Reds. <laughs>